There's been a lot written and said about the impact on investment funds in the islands of FATCA and the associated US and UK agreements. Now, so far, the boards of many funds have been reluctant to incur costs in assessing this impact whilst uncertainties remained. However, there are two things which are certain. One is that all funds registered or authorised in Jersey and Guernsey will be affected and will have obligations under local regulations. The other is that the responsibility for compliance with those obligations sits with the fund itself, that is, with the board of directors, with the trustees of a unit trust or with the general partner of a limited partnership. Now, the Crown Dependencies have published draft guidance notes on FATCA. However, even after the next draft is published, uncertainties will remain, particularly as the requirements of the OECD's common reporting framework is built in. So with that in mind, if you look at the time frame for implementation of the agreements, there really is no capacity for further delay waiting for uncertainty to be resolved. The IRS registration portal has been live for some time now, and some funds and fund managers are already registering and obtaining their global intermediary identification numbers, their GIN. For the 1st of July, funds should have amended their new investor procedures for FATCA. By the 22nd of December, all registrations must have been finalised. So, what should fund directors be doing now? Well, the first stage that all funds need to complete is classification. They need to determine what their status is for FATCA purposes as that drives all the next actions. It drives whether they need to register, it drives what investor review needs to be undertaken, and it drives the reporting requirements. That applies for all types of investment funds in the islands, be they private equity, real estate or listed funds. Now, most fund administrators will offer some assistance to their fund clients but the directors need to undertake that initial classification themselves. Boards will therefore look to external advisors to assist them. At KPMG in the Channel Islands, we are ideally placed to assist fund directors. We have a dedicated local FATCA team led at partner level who understand the fund sector and have been closely involved assisting the islands in formulating their response to FATCA and compiling those guidance notes. We know the industry, we understand the issues and we have cost-effective solutions to address the complexities.